Hello friends, welcome back to Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's Cut. I can't wait to jump back in. Uh, Jensen's luck took a twisted turn when the ship he'd stowed away on set course for a bell tower base. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Friend, Keitner, blah, blah, blah. Scientists, detention camp. Perfect. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough. I know I am. Let's see what it is that we were doing. Because, I don't know, I don't remember. Okay. I went through this thing. Oh, my controller is a little stiff. And yes, I am playing with controller. I'm using a Xbox 360 controller, in case anyone is curious. All right. Looks pretty clear. Wait, didn't we do this already? Are we going the wrong way? Oh, right, we did all this stuff and then we have to go back down. Oh, and there was the girl. Okay. There was the girl who told me the sad story. Do I have the, um... Yeah, I got the parachute. Let's just jump. Much better. Yeah, the, um... The kidnapped college student storyline and all that. Okay. That's right. Kind of disturbing but i mean i always knew bell tower was pretty disturbing oh hey dude i forgot i left you here i don't need that all right so now we just have to go all the way back yeah push the button frank Activating security this part's a little obnoxious honestly having to get a security scan every time like i get it i understand why they did it in this game it makes sense plot wise it's a little obnoxious Yep. Yeah. Still me. Subject recognized. Yep. Access granted. Thank you. All right. Oh. This is the spot. Keep looking. Someone must be there. <laughs> yeah. Someone must be there. Can't imagine who. Stop it! Hold it! Stop who? Who are you talking to? Oh, they probably saw me from up there. That checks out. Uh, let's just wait here a moment. See if these guys come down this hallway. Any second now. Fuck. I don't like this at all. Come on out. Okay, fine. Damn it. Better keep searching. <laughs> I got a man down here. No, you don't. You lied. <laughs> all right. Thanks for being idiots, I guess. Appreciate it. I mean, they are bell tower guys. I'm really tempted to do that just for role playing purposes, but um, let's not. And also, let's go this way. Loading bay. No, detention. I don't want to go to detention. I've been good. All right, what have we got over here? Nothing. Army operations. Did I look in here? I must have, because there's an open vent. Alright, let's just keep moving. Loading bay. Uh, do I want to go this way? Oh. What's that? I didn't expect a guy. Let's crouch. Here, come out now. Oh, come out now? Okay. Okay. You asked me to. Actually, where's your gun, dude? Thank you. Alright. 
Ah, that's that big area. Okay. This guy and that guy are just kind of hanging out. Oh, hey, dude. What are you doing here? I don't remember you at all. So there must have been a sneaky way that I got past these guys before, right? Perhaps? Oh. Uh. Game just decided to... Exit out for some reason. Okay. It was weird. Just saw the Irishman down below. He says a lot of new merchandise soon now that the ships are... I don't know what that was about, but the game just, like... Hey, did you ever wonder about his setup? I mean, I know he's a civvy, De, uh... Deselected the window, so sure they know. it was kind of weird. Anyway, Quinn gets us some of the things Bell Tower doesn't provide. Plus, he doesn't need slides, so we get to feel like we're getting away with something. Plus, Ooh, extra goodies. Exactly. As long as it doesn't get out of control, they'll let the Mick run his little market. Should have just thrown this at those two guys. Really? Just gonna stand there with your ugly goatee thing. What are you even looking at, you idiot? Alright, so we got that guy in that corner and this guy in this corner. I don't know what to do in this situation. I don't feel like there's any way to avoid shooting them. So let's just get to it, I guess. Weird, what happened? Alright, I really wanted to hit him with the crate, and it just did not work this time, but it's fine. We dealt with an issue. Ooh, is this a pathway I'm supposed to know about? Admin sector, what's in here? Oh, this is where I came out. Right, okay. That's fine. That can all stay there. Push the button. Okay, it's just uh, sleeping on the job. Ooh, watch your head. Oh. I don't see a lot of elevators with plywood roofs. Alright. Plywood and a tarp. I guess that does work. Uh, or not plywood, like 2 by 4s Anyway. Let's see what's over. Okay. Oh, did we just run past the guy? Yeah, I totally did. Didn't even notice. Hey, dude. So, what's the story? Just got off the horn with the commander. She says you got something for me to take a look at. Prosthetic eye, one of the birds. Ironically, something we to look at. We need to get past a retinal scan, but it's useless like this. I, without an active neural connection, it might as well be an expensive paperweight. <laughs> May as well put a gobstopper in front of the scanner for all the good that thing will do you. Solutions, Quinn. Think you can handle this? Lad, I may be just a mechanic, but I'm also the only thing keeping this whole bleeding facility from sinking into the abyss. Think I can manage a simple optic frequency bypass. Just let me get me tools. Does his face, like, open up? Is that what I'm led to believe right. by this weird circle? So that's it now. He got the eye. Sorry it took a little longer than I expected. Nearly break the damn thing once or twice. New TYM firmware and such. Now don't go fucking around with that. It's only got a limited lifespan due to the temp power source they rigged. It's only good for one use. Got it? One use? Ugh. Is it supposed to be moving? Aye. Bloody creepy, that is. Try not to pay it any mind now. Thing's stuck in calibration mode. Trick is, I got it thinking it's plugged into a new host. And by rewriting the system diagnostic checks, it'll keep trying to connect without detecting anything's amiss, which in turn keeps it alive in a manner of speaking. Fuck 
fucking brilliant piece of engineering work if I don't sell myself. All right. Well, hopefully this thing works. It'll work just dandy so long as you don't do something stupid like drop it. And it ain't a bloody webcam. So don't try using it to spy the knickers up someone's skirt. Thanks. Got those parts for me? Yeah, take a look. Colorful hey, Irishman. Let me see what you got there. That's the 329 scope assembly. Let me know when you find the other two. Oh. What are you buying? What are you buying? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um... Uh, let's just sell the machine pistol. I hate those things. Let's keep all that. Sell those. Sell the whiskey. I don't have a typhoon. Do I even have a shotgun? Oh. I do have a shotgun. Okay. Uh, da, 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 machine pistol. Goodbye. Stun gun darts. Rockets. Do I still have the rocket launcher? I think I got rid of it, didn't I? Please. Satisfaction guaranteed. Unless, of course, you fuck it up yourself. Mm, thanks, Quinn. Um, I do not have a rocket. Okay. I don't know. Is it worth buying some shells? I don't have a lot of shots. I do have a couple of rounds of sniper rifle ammo, but I don't have a sniper rifle. Uh, you know, right. let's, let's, um, no. let's do this, let's sell this, and buy that. Okay. Thanks for shopping at Quinn Mart. <laughs> uh, Quinn is quite the character. I'm, I'm curious what the special weapon is and if it's worth actually investing the time in. I'm guessing it is. Uh, but I have no idea where those items are. Uh, is it anywhere? In, yeah, Quinn Scavenger Hunt. Oh, it's a rocket. Oh. Well, let's make it active and see if it gives us any clues. I don't see any green on my radar. Hmm. <laughs> hey, guy. At least I can walk through without having to worry about anything. Um, here? I don't think I want to go there. Am I going this way? I don't know how I got so lost. Uh, not down the hole. Okay. Uh, back into the scanner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Activating security scanner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really cool the first time. It was kind of neat the second time. Like, the seventh time, this is a bit much. Okay, we got another sleepy boy here. Actually, just a sleepy boy. And now we gotta go up again. But this time there's there's there are robots to avoid, right? As far as I recall, there's some robots. Yep, there's a robot right there. Let's go sneak mode. Where is the robot? I thought there was a pair of them. Is it behind me? Where? Whatever. I'll destroy a robot if I have to. Nope, no robots. 
Oh, and those laser things, which are not hard, but, you know, safety first. I know you can hear me, you bastard! Actually, no one can hear you. I pretty much killed them all. And go. And go. Open the door. Check out the little mini Zamboni. And another retinal scan, right? Of course. Yay. Oh, can't jump anymore. Uh-huh. Subject recognized. Uh-huh. Access granted. Uh-huh. Do 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 do. All right. Morgs downstairs. Do 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 Luke? Alright, probably shouldn't be making light of it considering all the corpses on the floor. Seems in bad taste. I guess I'll just grab that because it's here, and that I cannot open. Here's looking at you, kid. Access granted. Oh, good! It didn't do another retinal scan, body scan, all the scan. I do want to crouch though. Oh, we're going deep. Whoa! This is actually kind of cool. I mean, Jason, it's... It's Keitner. Where are you? Horrifying. You concealed elevator inside the prison's restricted wing. Your gun-running neural engineer deserves a raise. I take it the eye worked then. Good. Now listen, if what you say is true... Oh, man. If Burke really is using the prisoners here as lab rats, I need proof. Hard evidence that I can take to Interpol. An entire prison full of kidnapped civilians isn't enough? You're an ex-cop, Jensen. You tell me. How many death row inmates crying on about their innocence have you seen getting out? Point taken. I'll see what I can find. Man, oh man. This is giving me creepy Subnautica vibes. I'm just waiting for the Leviathan to come by. That's a mashup I do not want. I do not want Leviathans in the Deus Ex world. That's so creepy to consider. Uh-oh. I don't trust this. I don't trust this at all. This this looks like a setup. Oh man, what is going on? Please, please don't leave me like this. No hope. I mean, should I shoot her? Oh, I can't. Alright. I can take the painkillers. Wow. What is going on here? Well, I'm glad I can't talk to this person. Because that would be horrifying. Stun gun darts in this lab probably makes sense. Oh. Hi, lady. Uh, yeah. I have a feeling we do need a trauma kit. I have trauma just being in this room. Granola bars. Ooh, a hacky thing. Is that a hacky thing or is that a mind template? I can't tell. It's a data storage device. It is neither. Pock secretary. Get a chance to receive something. Where is he getting this? Oh man. Don't hurt me anymore. 
Dude, this is horrifying and creepy. Alright. I understand your concerns more than you know. Loss of life is tragic, but in the long run necessary. We have to keep our eyes on the project. Monitoring Omega requires extreme amounts of computational power. Uh, the numbers we're seeing, the losses are unacceptable. How many times have I asked you to call me Bob? Smiley face? Really? We are killing people here. Still on the sub. I kind of hate this. This whole thing is awful. Human AI. Can a machine think like a man? Ugh. Alright. I guess I'm supposed to talk to the lady, huh? Wait, was there a drawer to search over here or something? Oh, there is. <laughs> With an EMP grenade. Okay. That's, that's cool to have one of those. She does not know I'm here, or what's up with that? Oh, hello, Braxis Kid. I want to look at the thing. What is that? Pipe Dream or Theory for the Future by Hugh Darrow. Hmm. Synthesis of compound P-027 proceeding as expected. However, oh, what did I miss? No tranquilizer darts for the non-existent tranquilizer rifle. The proofs... When the proofs, the figures were cut... Okay. I got some kind of achievement. I don't know. Let's talk to the lady, I guess. Quite the house of horrors you got here. She didn't notice me at all. Isn't anyone in, or just women? Who are you? How'd you get down here? This is a restricted area. Obviously. You wouldn't want the rank and file knowing what kind of sick experimentation is going on down here. No, you you don't understand. I'm not... Where's Burke? She's got a Versalife jacket. Partner, Savage. But Burke went back up to the base. And Gary, Gary left. Told me to be smart, keep my mouth shut, and do whatever Burke tells me to do. For now. For now? I heard the three of you talking up there in the morgue. Sounded like you don't exactly fit in here, Dr. Um... Kavanaugh. And who the fuck are you? The name's Jensen. I came here looking for someone. Megan Reed. Reed? I I've seen her research. Gary thinks it could be the key we're missing. If she can be convinced to come here. Megan Reed was kidnapped, Kavanaugh. Violently. As was her entire scientific team and the dozens of women you've been torturing down here. No! You, you don't understand. I'm trying to save them. Gary and I, we were sent here to put the OCM project back on track. It wasn't until we got here that we realized what that meant. And by then, by then it was too late. OCM. Savage used that term in the morgue. What does it mean? Organic computational matrix. It's a means of cross-connecting living brain tissue and artificial intelligence systems to create a supercomputer of unparalleled capability. Part flesh, part silicon. That's what you're doing down here, turning prisoners into computer parts. Human brain activity has to be integrated with the technology, or else it won't work. Even DARPA knew that. What does DARPA have to do with this? Nothing. Not directly. In 2007, they started looking for research partners to help develop an artificial cognitive science program that could increase a soldier's situational awareness in the field. A number of private sector companies submitted proposals. Bell Tower being one of them. No. Bell Tower was a private military corporation. DARPA wanted researchers. But one of the companies who did submit something was a biotech corporation that deals with Bell Tower. And they believe the it program could be designed if it could be wired directly into the soldiers' brains. DARPA wasn't willing to go that far. So this biotech company took the idea to Bell Tower. A corporation that 
being privately funded, doesn't have to concern itself with political or ethical debate. Hmm. Just how many prisoners are being wired into this thing? I... I don't know. But a lot of them don't seem to survive for more than a year. I've told the others there's no way this project can stay viable with these kinds of numbers. But the OCM computers have to have them to work. Computers? You mean there's more than one of them? There's... several. This is just where the process starts. The factory floor. We select the candidates here, implant them, and ship them to the other locations. It's all very efficient. Yeah, except your candidates keep dying. <laughs> you seem to think Megan's research is integral to salvaging this project of yours. Why? It's not my project. Had I known before I came here... Right, just answer the question. <sighs> We're experiencing cross-systemic failures with the tech. Over time, subjects implanted with OCM augmentations suffer complete neurological breakdown. I can't imagine why. They, they pretty much burn up from the inside. Gary thinks it's a problem with the acceptance of the PDOT array. I've heard that phrase before. It's the building block of modern neuro-augmentations. Dr. Reed's been reshaping it, changing the way it bonds with living tissue. The mutagenic gene combination she's introduced into it will... Frankly, it's astonishing. Enough to warrant her kidnapping? So she'd be forced to work on this project with you? She's not on this project. I don't know what she's doing or where she is. This is the first time anyone's ever mentioned kidnapping. Was the kidnapping staged? You're really going to stand there and try to justify your role in this, aren't you? People are being enslaved, Kavanaugh. Enslaved and crucified. It, it wasn't like that at first. I thought we were going to make a difference, do something incredible for the world. Right. And look how incredible it turned out to be. But you can still make a difference, Doctor. You can help me blow the lid off this place. Are you insane? I, I can't. There's too much money invested in this. Burke, the people I work for, they'll kill me. They'll hunt me down and kill me. I know people who can protect you, hide you. Interpol is just waiting for evidence to tear Bell Tower apart. It's not just Bell Tower. Oh, God. Oh, God, am I really going to do this? You... You can't get me out through the prison. Burke would stop us. Then we'll have to do what Savage did. Take a submersible. We can't. The hatches to all the docking hangers are locked tight. The only way to unlock them is by using the security console in the prison command tower. I have access to that. Burke keeps an eye on us that way. Then I'll have to go back up there and unlock it. Well, you gather as much evidence as you can carry. Oh my god, I'm really gonna do this. Damn right you are. <laughs> now get moving. I'll contact you when I unlock the hatch. All right, fine. But Mr. Jensen, please, hurry. Okay. This is horrific, and I want to put a stop to it. And I'm sure I won't be able to, because it's the Deus Ex universe. And there are no happy endings. Keitner, contact Interpol. We need rendezvous coordinates for a deep sea submersible. A what? What exactly have you found, Jensen? A research complex hidden beneath this base. One of its Big. staff is willing to turn whistleblower if we can deliver her to Interpol using one of the lab's transport subs. Which explains why you need the coordinates. I'll see what I can do. Keitner out. This is so freaky. I mean, we're so far up now, we can't even see the lab. Uh... Keitner, what the hell's going on? The elevator stopped. Burke must have intercepted our comms. Get the hell out of there, Jensen. I'll meet you. What? Great. Okay. This does seem a bit problematic. As I said, no happy endings in Deus Ex. Uh, box? I'm supposed to stack the boxes? Is that what we're doing here? How would you do this if you didn't take the jump upgrades? You'd just come up here, right? 
Like, what's the point of the boxes? Am I supposed to bring a box up here? Is that what we're doing? I don't know what's going on. What's going on, guys? Oh. Alarmed people? Where? Okay. This looks suspicious. Nothing? Really? Huh. Okay. Guess I'm supposed to go through that hole instead. Do I have an EMP selected right now? I do. Let's change it to a concussion mine, because I feel like I'm facing people more likely than robots. Ooh, hello. Gas grenade. Strange thing to have here. Oh, we got a lot of guys. Okay. I'm more guy. Wow, there's a lot of them waiting for me. I mean, I am behind them. Do I want to shoot them through this vent? I'm going that way. Let's see. Let me take another look at them here. One, two, three of them. Just the three? That's what it looks like on the radar, too. I mean, I could peg this guy right here and cause an uproar. Or I could just try to sneak past them. Get down the hole, Adam. Get down the hole, Adam. this. I want to do some recreational reading. And I can't seem to click on it. Okay. They didn't seem to mind. Throw a box to distract them. Just walk right past you. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Probably gonna have to take care of them on the way back, though. I don't see any way I'm jumping back up into that hole. Okay. Run right through here. What does that mean? Oh, come on. I forgot. I gotta do these again. Or am I gonna get stuck in here now? Surprised it's still granted. Uh oh, cutscene. We really oh, broke open a hornet's nest, didn't we? Just Jesus. threw up spaghetti all over that wall. You need a medic. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Got those coordinates, Jensen. But Burke figured it out. Seized control of the station and 
Locked down the detention camp. Bastard's cleaning house. I've got to get Kavanaugh out. Can't. Not until you stop the gas. What gas? Burks enacted a scorched earth protocol to stop the truth from getting out. What? Poison gas in every cell. Lab two. Unless you stop it. Stay with me, Keitner. There's a circuit board underneath the prison command tower. It directs the flow. Everything's connected, but might be able to redirect. A whistleblower has to live, Jensen. Only sure way. We stop this. Keitner? Keitner! Disrupt the gas. Okay. Give me those. What? No, oh, I gotta do inventory stuff right now? Alright, let's drop that. I was just picking stuff up because it was, you know, there. Alright, let's drop the stun gun darts. Let's drop the tranquilizer darts. Okay. I don't want the typhoon ammo either. Let me just do it while I'm thinking of it. That's right here. Drop. Now we got a blank template. All right. How much time do I have? Probably not enough to search these guys like I am. Oh boy. I got 10 minutes. Oh, this stupid thing. Okay, that's one more. Oh, how are you supposed to get over there? Oh, not like that. That was a bad jump. Nope, didn't work. Okay. Good jump. Alright, well, not like that. I was hoping I could jump a lot further than that. And instead I landed next to an invisible guy with a combat rifle. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Even shooting him in the crotch three times wasn't enough to stop him. Must be the power of invisibility. Oh, I can do the inventory thing again? All right. Use. Drop. 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 And drop. Okay. Detention silo is what the hell was that? Dude's got a sniper rifle and I didn't even notice. Wait, who is? Oh, he's way over there. Alright. Can we just hit him? Ah. Did not get a headshot. Wait, where is he? I don't even see him. Oh, wait, they probably did the invisible thing again, huh? Where's that dude? I want to know what's on the roof of that thing. Am I supposed to get that? Uh, 
I don't know, this doesn't seem like the time to be wasting. It's a lot of guys. Oh, there's a guy right there. Oh, come on. Ah, thanks for using a sniper rifle, idiot. Appreciate the laser. Oh, who's that? Oh, I probably should have killed that guy, actually. I'm just gonna wake him back up. Wait, who? Where? Alright, let's change this out here to, uh... Concussion grenade. Okay. Oh! What? Where? Alright, I really want to know what those things are. Oh, I bet I, if I jump from here... Oh, that's a bomb? I thought it was just an alarm. Okay, okay, okay. It was a learning moment. I just want to get the on top of the thing. That's all I want to do is get on top of the thing. Alright, maybe I should save it after I drop the stuff so that I don't have to keep doing this. Drop. Drop. Use. Drop. I just want that. And I want that. And I want that. Save. Detention silo is secure. Locked down. Come on, fall down, dude. All right, inventory's too full. Let's drop this for a sec. So we don't have any. Wow, okay. Uh, let's drop the big protein shake container and then accidentally pick up the wrong weapon. Twice. I'm looking at the sniper rifle, dude. There we go. Let's equip that. We've got one round. And I missed. Perfect. It's worth a shot. Let's use one of these. And one of these. Oh, look at that. Combine. I didn't realize I had six. Okay. Take that back. Take that back. Oh, there was another sniper rifle. Oh, well. You know, I feel like this actually might be a good opportunity to switch to a different weapon, but I don't really have anything with ammo. Okay, got him. And... Nope, wrong side. Thought I could jump from there. Now, who is shooting at me? Somebody down a level? Where are they? Oh, he's down here. What are you doing, dude? Alright. So is it just... Who's got me? Who sees me? Or are they just taunting? Nope, somebody's got me. Where is he? I don't see anybody. Alright, let's try this again. Gonna go around. And jump! There we go. Wait, don't you dare. I just wanted to see what this stuff was. Oh, a Praxis and some shotgun shells. Okay. Alright. This actually probably would have been worth getting a, uh, a rocket launcher, wouldn't it? Um, let's 
I don't even know. I don't even know. We got a we got five praxis. I mean, let's do that. Let's do that. I didn't realize we had five. Okay. Uh, what's this gonna do for me? Lift heavy stuff. I don't need that. Stealth enhancer. Eh. Social enhancer. That doesn't seem to be the time for it. Faster battery. I don't know. Cloaking system. I mean, that uses a lot of energy, but that might actually be helpful. All right. Where? Can I just jump down here? Okay. You guys coming in? Cool. Thanks, dude. Come on, man. Well, wow, that was terrible aim. Come on. Really? Dude, come on. Enough. Is there more? Can I do this yet? None of that's helpful. I don't know where the guy is who's shooting at me. Oh, he's up here. Where? Oh, it, is that a robot? I think I'm getting shot at by a robot. Can this do anything? Where am I supposed to go? Down. Who's talking to me? Always a war. You can't save both. What? The hacker from the ship. You've been listening. I thought the hacker was Keitner. Like Zietke said, everything's connected right now. Gas is set to disperse evenly between the prison and the lab. All you can do in here is redirect flow. Oh, this is horrible. Into the other. Do nothing. Everybody dies. Do something. Somebody dies faster. Precisely. But if you want to bring down Bell Tower, the choice is clear. Well, I hate this. Um. Ugh. Gross. There's probably a difficult decision, Bratan. But that gov nuke bark gives you no choice. Tell that to the prisoners. You'll have Interpol rendezvous with Kavanaugh submersible. As soon as you unlock it, use the touch screen in the security room above you. It'll shut off the lockdown, so you can return to the base. And why would I want to go there? Use your head, Chuvak. The last thing standing between you and Megan Reed is Burke. You can't escape! So I'm assuming there's a way to save both, but I don't know what that way would be. Oh, all the people, I have to watch them get gassed now? Oh, that's horrifying. Kavanaugh, I've unlocked the hatch and I'm transmitting the coordinates to a rendezvous site. Oh, thank God. I thought when the code yellow started... Whoa. Just make sure Interpol gets that evidence. I'm going after Burke. Jensen out. And another praxis point. Where are you shooting at me from? Oh, down there. Oh, you're just a guy. Oh, come on. No, stop going down the ladder. I'm trying to reload. Oh, 
Oh, fine. Fall down. Now who's shooting at me? Where? Am I still on a timer? I don't even know. Probably not. Alright, somebody's down here and hit me through these railings. These people are suffering way longer than I thought they were going to. Oh, there he is. Okay. Right there. Thank you. Appreciate your cooperation. I just want your stupid machine pistol. Come on. Take your stupid combat rifle, though. No, oh, never mind. No. No, okay. Well. Oh, you know what I could use? I could increase my inventory size. <laughs> Where's that combat rifle? Give me that. And give me that too, idiot. Alright. Yeah, I'm sure there's a way I could have turned off the gas too, but I don't know what it was, so sorry, prisoners. Ugh. Man, having to run past them all, though? That's a bit much. Heavy rifle ammo? Where have you been? I mean, obviously right here. Alright. Machine pistol, you're back on the ground. Gimme. Oh, not the tranquilizer darts. I always hit X. I don't need that. What I really want is this thing to get reloaded. And now I gotta decide what I'm gonna do with Burke. I'm guessing that an EMP mine might be helpful. Did I take that thing that protects me from uh, EMP stuff? Yeah, right there. Okay. Cutscene? No. Oh, <laughs> Won't let me do it without scanning again. Activating security scan. <sighs> Nothing like a full body scan to kill the urgency of this section. Let's use a granola bar, because why not? Can I combine this box of granola bars? Nope. Um, I do have a mine template. I have two. Let's do a EMP mine here too. So I can have a couple of chances to do it without having to stop the fight, presumably. Um, but I'm, I'm guessing I'm going to want to... I mean, considering all these... Or should I say Adam Jensen? Oh, hey. That's right. I know who you are now. Katner wasn't quite as good at hiding her tracks as she thought she was. If you think Kavanaugh's escape changed anything, you're wrong. Belltown will track her down. And on the off chance the good doctor does spill her guts to someone, anything she says will be discredited. Still, I admire your ruthlessness. To save the life of one woman, you allowed a hundred more to die. That takes strength of will. The Reed woman, this Megan you've been searching for, she's not here. And the only thing standing between you and the ship that could take you to her is me. I underestimated you back on the ship. I won't be doing it again. Oh, well, at least I was granted access. Okay. World's slowest rifle, ready to go. Let's make sure all of our guns are loaded, actually, because I have a feeling we're going to need it. Uh, 
There we go. Double our output there. Okay. And we have nothing for that. Let's actually start with the shotgun. Blood, you there? Quinn? Oh. Where are Quinn? You? Getting me ours out of Dodge. Burke's had enough, and he's gunning for you. And I don't intend on being caught in the bloody crossfire. I wish I had. Listen, about the gas. I know it wasn't easy, but you did what had to be done. Thanks. Head to me shop. Oh. I left you a thing or two so you can give him hell. I'd like to say we'd meet again over a pint sometime, but... Well, Godspeed, mate. Okay. I wish I had found the pieces for the rocket launcher that he wanted me to find. Um. Oh, hey, guy. Alright. So let's actually switch back to this, because I thought we were going right into a Burke fight, but we are not. <laughs> really? Nerds. Alright. We'll just go this way. Probably gonna come out right behind them, right? No, well, more or less. How much longer do you think you can last? How much longer can I last? Well, I have a sequel. See that? The door opened, but no one came through. Weird. Are you gonna get past that? You're not. Okay. Keep your eyes open. Something's wrong. Yeah. Hit the alarm. Hit the alarm. Reset. Oh. Somebody's coming, maybe. That sounds like Shatner. Makes me think perhaps other forces were Someone over there! Stop! Oh man, I can't hit that guy. Come back here. Okay, well, I just took a shotgun blast to the face. That's fun. Is this guy gonna walk up? Yeah, like this one where I'm standing. Uh-oh, somebody's coming up behind me. Where the hell is he? <laughs> Good job searching. All clear down here. Return at any time. All right, there's a lot more guys here than I expected. the weird taunting here. Quinn, I'm sorry, I don't even remember where your shop is. Nobody here? Oh, he's down there. Okay. Is he dead? Oh, no, he's not. Can he just die, please? Direct hit. Yeah, direct hit. <gasps> Made me use all my pistol ammo, you jerk. Alright, I guess I'm switching to the combat rifle. Uh-oh. Glad I checked. Do wish I had a silencer for this thing, though. Oh, I didn't even notice. Well, I kind of feel like I should save again, actually. Come on, gas. 
Thank you. Wait, am I going the wrong way? Where's Quinn's shop? Oh. Wait, who saw me? Oh. Whatever. I should have looked before I jumped in here. I didn't realize where I was going. I was just following the X. Where are you running to? Literally nowhere. I just don't remember how to get to Quinn's shop, man. Let's check the map. Oh god, what is this map? Is this it? I think so. Maybe. I think I'm supposed to go down that elevator. Yeah, I can't jump down a floor. I'm so lost right now. Oh! Boy, I didn't notice those. I just went right around the corner like an idiot. This was Burke's office. All right. I'm sure I read this. Yeah. What trail of bodies? Oh, there's another spinny thing down there. Over there. Stop. Wait, why is the door closed? Come on. Is there another exit from Burke's if I went further down the hall? Yeah, I thought so. I could see his feet coming. Thanks, dude. Okay. You were going to cause me so much trouble. I would have never given in to my curiosity. Curiosity. Oh, I'm so lost. Where is Quinn's place? Oh. Hangar loading bay. Level five. Interesting. Don't I have one of the uh, hacky things or do I not? I do not. Do have a couple of skill points. I could go to level five. Oh, let's just do it. I want to know. That's why we save our praxis, so we can spend them poorly. How did Kaiga recruit you, Jensen? She used Reed as a character. Shut up, dude. Access grant. No. So I'm in this big room. 
I, sure. Okay, fine. <laughs> oh, come on. All right. Concussion. Do I not have a frag grenade? I don't have a single frag grenade. I guess I have gas grenades. Yeah, you guys can invisibly go to sleep. That's fine. Did he just do it too? Wow. Amazing. Oh, and we got a guy over there. Is he the only one I didn't get, though? Alright. We got some turrets. Oh boy. That did not go well. Jesse Ventura? Whoa. Well, I at least want to take out these guys. Wait, oh. I'm trying, but you actually left. All right, fine. I know you're still here. Where are you? Oh, you're over there now. Playing hide and seek. Stop. Gotcha. You're it. So what's up with this thing? Just set it right here, I guess. All right. So what's over here? Is it? Oh, I just walked in front of that turret like an idiot. Okay. That was pretty dumb. Is this where uh, Quinn is? Oh, I didn't go to Quinn's shop. <sighs> I meant to go to Quinn's shop, not to him. Okay. Why is that box rolling? Let's get my EMP mine. And let's duck. Oh, that is not a rolling box. I'm curious. How far do you think Dr. Reed would go Take that thing out. At least that was quick. Of course, everyone knows where I am at. Got a sniper above me, a sniper above me to the other side. Turn around. Do I have any, uh... I don't. Alright. Let's get the gas grenades back out, I guess. Can this guy go away? Thank you. Okay. I mean, I can try to hit this guy, but man, that's a tough shot with a combat rifle. How do I want to do this? Maybe go around 
the right Boy, side? It may have served you well in the past, but ultimately it's a failing. I don't know where the like the the ladder or the stairs is. That's definitely a problem. Okay, let's get over here. Oh, there's a guy down there on the ground floor with me. Okay. Oh, wait. I just noticed I got the heavy rifle. Or the combat rifle. Maybe that's why I was having a hard time aiming. Okay. Uh oh. That's a heavy guy right up there. Uh, I'll take that. I don't care about your beer. Who shot at me? Alright, I need to get up this ladder. Uh oh. Up, 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 up. Are they both over there? Looks like it. Oh man, this is a bad situation. Jeez. Take a shot. Come on, take a shot. Okay, that's one. So much for being subtle, though. We got a heavy guy over there. This guy just seems happy to stay where he is. I will take just that. Thank you for announcing yourself, though. I really appreciate that. Um, I'll actually take both of those, because I want that. Let's set down this laser rifle again. Shut up, Burke. He really does sound like Jesse Ventura. Saw the combat rifle ammo on top. Can I, um... Can I hack this to turn some turrets uh, in my favor or something? Doesn't seem like the time to do some hacking, but at the same time, it seems like the time to do some hacking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what do we got? Oh, right, I didn't put any points into it. That was dumb. Where are these guys? Your altruism blinded. Ooh, there's somebody up there. I could have used. Is that his head? What am I looking at? Oh, no, there's his head. Okay. Wow. This angle is rough. There we go. Judge, jury, and executioner, eh, Jensen? Small-minded fool. 
It's Judge Judy and Executioner. Got another sniper here somewhere. I see the laser. It must be inside there? I don't know why the laser would be coming through other than weird hitbox stuff. Something glittering on the roof of that. And there's a turret in the middle. Which I'd really rather avoid. Should we take the laser rifle? I, I'm really torn here. Like, how close are we to actually... We're not very close to actually being able to take both. I mean, I guess I could drop the machine pistol ammo. And use a painkiller. Can we take it now? I didn't think so. Um, and we got one more empty mine template. Let's make another one of these. How about now? Hey, all right. And I don't have any more Praxis, right? I have one. Turret domination. Let's do it just to be sure. Uh, oh, over here, please. Interact. Confirm. I wonder if I can take a turret with me to fight Burke. That'd be cool. Oh, there he is. I'm standing. He's not. <laughs> Never mind. We bark out of the picture. In a power vacuum, I can take advantage of. Return to loading bay two. The doors between here and the docking platform will be open for you. Last time I passed through there, Burke's men were still waiting for me. Not anymore. Burke has just ordered them away. Great. Except I came here looking for Megan Reed, Bratan. I can't leave without knowing. There is a boat heading toward the location as we speak. If you hurry, it can be on it. All right, well, the fight with Burke was very anticlimactic, but also very satisfying. I didn't realize it was him there. I, I thought I had a heavy rifle. Uh, okay, let's read this. Security code, cool. Gentlemen, yeah, whatever. Do I not have a heavy rifle? I don't. I do. Well, let's put this down. Grab that. And then uh, reload. You know, the old chestnut. Uh, where are you at? Heavy rifle. There we go. I only got 12 rounds out of it, but fine. Okay. Well, I guess I didn't really need to use the Praxis on that, but I did. Five, three, five, nine. Hey, Burke. Burke's revolver? Oh, we got a custom-named weapon? Oh, man, you're killing me, game. Killing me. Let's use this thing. I never use them anyway. Oh, really? Um... Shotgun cartridges, shotgun cartridges. Uh, all right, we're gonna drop this. I want Burke's revolver. What's up with this? Oh, it's gold. Is it like a gold PPK? Examine. High damage, medium range weapon with slow firing rate. Custom made variant of the standard Diamondback revolver with a compact but dense frame. The Diamondback is a powerful pistol, but its short effective range and low ammunition capacity are the trade-offs for the damage it delivers. This one-of-a-kind special firearm was a gift to Peter Burke from the CEO of Mustang Ad Tech for saving his life during a close protection mission early in Burke's career with Bell Tower. Full suite of built-in upgrades for damage, rate of fire, and reload speed, as well as an integral later laser sight and gold surface finish. Neat. Hey, Burke. Sorry about your luck. I was going to say something else in there, but... Um, do I want any of this stuff? I mean, I kind of want a hypo stim. 
That would be nice. Ah, uh, whatever. What's in here? Empty lockers? What's in here? Perk, box guard, blah, 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 whatever. Commander, blah, blah, blah. Wonderful, thank you. Father D? Alright. Oh, I still got this uh, heavy rifle equipped. Let's take out this thing. That doesn't open. So all those pods we saw earlier that we saved that one person in the pod, that was just for them to experiment on, I guess, on the boat? That's kind of deeply disturbing. Um... Well... What is this one? Wonderful, thank you. Didn't I already read this? Whatever. Okay. You I took down in person. So do I just have a clear shot through at this point? Also, wasn't there revolver ammo somewhere? Stun gun darts. I think there was revolver ammo somewhere, and I don't know where it was. But that fight was, like, silly easy. Okay. Oh, we should go look at the guys that we knocked out with the gas. Oh, they're gone, but they left their guns behind. Got it. Totally checks out. Ooh, heavy rifle. Alright, hang on a second, guys. We're gonna put this down. We're gonna grab that. And now we're gonna... Two? Really? We picked up two rounds? Oh, 62 is the mag? No, okay, there we go. I was gonna say, 62 is a weird clip size. Alright. Wonder what's over there. Well, problem for another day. Guess we're just going this way now? Is this it? Is this the end of this, uh, Rifleman Bank Station? Well Quinn? I'm afraid our good friend Quinn met with an unfortunate uh, incident during all the commotion and is oh. no longer with us. Your voice. It was you this whole time. Who are you? For the moment, I'm between identities. I apologize for the duplicity, but it was a necessary precaution. Big you safe survival. In the dark. And Keitner? Did she know? Commander Keitner's perception was much like yours. Shrouded. She saw what she needed to see, and was told what she needed to hear in order for me to complete the mission. So we were both pawns. Except she's dead and I'm not. So where does that leave me in your grand design? We are all pawns in someone else's grand design, Mr. Jensen. But that doesn't make Natanya's death any less tragic. Your actions ensured her sacrifice was not made in vain, however. Dr. Kavanaugh made it out safely, and is on her way to the rendezvous site. She will expose the truth in due time. Kardner wasn't the only one who died back there. Those prisoners. Will be added to a long list of Bell Tower's atrocities. We will not let them be forgotten. Who's we? We mustn't stay here much longer, Mr. Jensen, if we hope to get you away from this base. I still have questions, Quinn, and I want answers. Real answers. No more bullshit. You really want to waste time chatting, Bratan? Fine. I will answer what I can, but... Keep in mind, you have a boat to catch. Keitner said she had been approached by an agent from Interpol. It was you, wasn't it? Very astute. When I learned of Commander Keitner's suspicions and insubordinate behavior towards Burke, I saw an opportunity. Pretending to be an agent of Interpol seemed the best way to gain her trust. You mean you lied? So who do you work for? A loose network of independent operatives, agents of conversion and equilibrium, who seek to expose corruption and assure humanity's natural progress. Juggernaut Collective? In truth, we are not affiliated with any global organization. But then, neither is our enemy, officially. Your enemy? 
You're not just talking about Bell Tower anymore, are you? You're talking about... The men and women who pull Bell Tower strings. The same men and women who ordered them to kidnap Megan Reed. Bell Tower probably has a battalion on its way to clean up this mess. How do you plan on keeping what we did here a secret? I'm delighted to say that Buck did most of the damage control for us. After requesting a profile search on you, he never explained why he needed it. I believe he wanted to keep control of you to himself. Since that time, we've been monitoring all incoming and outgoing communications, and the lockdown allowed me to discreetly install a tunneler, rerouting the base's network traffic. By the time Beltar realizes something is wrong, it will already be too late. What about the rest of the base personnel? Most of them think Burke is still in command. Technically, orders continue to be issued in his name, but I'm the one making the calls. I've also taken the liberty of cordoning of this sector of the base. For the moment, at least, we're safe. Okay. All right. Where's Megan? I don't know for certain. But what I do know is that earlier today, Burke issued orders to have a large group of detainees transferred off this base. Supposedly, they will be assisting at another black site facility. Kavanaugh said this was just the factory floor. You're sure Megan is at this other facility? Nothing is ever certain in life, Mr. Jensen. But it is the best chance you have. Unfortunately, the cargo ship carrying the prisoners has already set sail. But I took the liberty to send out an urgent dispatch in Burke's name ordering the ship's captain to hold position until one more detainee could be flown on board. In stasis. A helicopter is en route to pick you up. Wait a second. You want me to get inside another stasis pod? Hmm. Last time I got in one of those things, it didn't go so well. I know it's far from ideal, but frankly, your options are quite limited. Although, I suppose you could try swimming there. Better be the right fucking boat this time. Because I don't feel like coming back here anytime soon. Don't worry, man. It'll be grand. Besides, I thought you Americans liked riding off into the sunset. Wow. Okay. I'm still disappointed I didn't go to Quinn's little shop, but... I have taken many risks to secure these items for you, Bratan. I trust you will put them to good use until we meet in person. No one at Hackernet? There's not enough space? What did you... Holy cow. Rocket? Is this all the... This is all the stuff that they took from me. Oh, man. Alright. Let's drop some things. Um... Let's drop the... I don't know. I need all the inventory, guys. Drop that. What do we got here? We got rockets. We got heavy rifle ammo. Okay. So let's get that uh, loaded. What else we got here? We got nuke virus, I don't care. We got some explosives, some sniper rifle ammo. Let's actually just pick all this up and then sort it in a second. It was a lot of stuff. Rockets, I don't have a rocket launcher. Got hypo stims. I got my unlocking device. Got a lot of painkillers. Let's drop some of these. Hey, oh, laser rifle battery. Oh, I kind of need that, don't I? All right, let's equip the laser rifle. Let's see how many this sucker can hold. All of it. Excellent. Uh, Alright, I do want the sniper rifle, if I can. I don't think I can. I mean, I can drop two rockets. Nuke virus, I'm never gonna use. Uh, okay, what if I drop one box of sniper rifle ammo? I have a lot of grenades. Just probably just drop a couple of grenades. Yeah. All right, let's drop a couple of grenades. Let's use a granola bar. Let's let's eat a bunch of granola bars. Why not? All right. I didn't think so. Okay. 
How many more grenades do I need to drop? Let's drop concussion grenades, too. Come on. Give me a break. I don't care for the concussion grenades that much. Okay. Let's drop another one. How about now? Hmm. <laughs> this is riveting gameplay, I know, but just be patient. We're almost there, I think. Drop another one of those. Nope. Okay, so this is what? Ten squares? Ten squares. Let's drop that. Let's grab the sniper rifle and let's see how much space we have. We have four, eight. We need to drop two more. Frag frag mine, I'm gonna keep that. Gas mine. Remote detonate explosive devices. Alright, we gotta drop two more things. Let's drop. I mean, wait, that replaces two, four, six energy? And this will replace five? Okay. This will take that. Wait, what just happened? I thought I needed eight. Oh, I do need eight, and I dropped seven. All right. Um,. Or I, I need 10 and I dropped 9. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave all that stuff on the ground, I guess. And let's use this. Get it fully loaded. It already is. Well, I kind of hate all, all that stuff being left behind, but... This is just kind of the game for it, I guess. I can't go this way? All right, hop in the pod, I guess. Let's watch a cutscene. Exactly as you instructed. And yet you sound disappointed. You think we should have handled this differently? I think we had a valuable asset in our hands, and we're letting him slip away. He could have been very useful in the coming storm. A hand does not need to be clenched tightly to maintain its hold on someone. Jensen carries too much baggage right now. His obsession with Reed only serves to distract him. We could have told him the truth. He must discover it by himself. And when he does, if you have followed my instructions precisely, we will know how to find him. Assuming he lives that long. Okay, this definitely sounds like the Juggernaut Collective to me. But that's going to do it for this episode. I guess this is a, unless there's a cutscene right away, I'm just going to save and quit. I hope you guys enjoyed this. We finally got away from Rifleman Bank Station. We had to make a terrible decision. And I hated that. And we have a cutscene. So let's have me shut up so we can watch this. Man, a few days in a stasis pod sounds really good to me, though. I could use a good night's sleep. Pritchard, any chance you're still there? Jensen, my god. You've been offline for days. Where the hell are you? I was hoping you'd tell me. I'm pinging you now. You're in Singapore. Something's wrong, Jensen. I pinged you, and a second later, I lost your GPL signal. It's like you disappeared into a black... black hole. Gotta be a jammer. Well, obviously. If you can find the transmitter and take it offline, I'll be able to track you. And keep you on a tighter leash. I've got more important things to do than help you keep tabs on me. If Megan and her team are here, there's no time to waste. Choppy choppy. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, look at this. Level 5? Do I still have my, uh... Where are we? Oh! Okay, I lost all my Praxis again. No, I didn't. I They just gave me all the other ones back. Oh. Alright, 
we'll save that for next time. So guys, like I said, thank you so much for watching this episode. Uh, we are going to save it right here. We're apparently at Singa Singapore Facility. Um, really appreciate uh, you guys watching this series. I hope you're enjoying it. As I said, it's blind, but I have played uh, Mankind Divided before. So I'm assuming those guys were Juggernaut Collective guys. Um, in fact, I think Quinn might have been a character in the book I read that is the connective tissue between Human Revolution and Mankind Divided, but I don't fully remember. It sounds familiar, though. Anyway, as I said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider leaving a like. I always appreciate those. Please consider subscribing to the channel. And please, as always, be kind to yourselves and each other. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again real soon.